Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is player camera manager stop camera anim inst. Stop camera anim inst node is the node you use to stop an individual camera animation or camera anim after you've started it. If I run through my example, you can see I do play anims. Now what this is doing here is it is playing the anims that I've chosen, which I don't think, yeah, I didn't set them to loop, so let's fix that. There, let's set these more appropriately. Let's set it to scale of 5 and scale of 5. There we go. So ignore that. We'll do the play anims. So when I'm playing the anims, we are seeing two of them in effect. One is moving the location in and out every so often. And the other one is rotating our camera back and forth along the, I believe it's the X axis. When I hit stop anim instance, you're going to see the rotation stop, but you're going to see the location going back and forth still work. So let's look at the node. The stop camera anim instance, stop camera anim inst node is one of the camera anim nodes off of the player camera manager. So if you pull off of your player camera manager, you can find them under camera anim. And the one we're looking for is the stop camera anim inst. And it's very annoying to say because it's short for animation and instance. And it's annoying. So the stop camera anim inst has three inputs. It has a target, which is going to be our player camera manager. So it knows which camera we're to use. The anim inst reference. The anim inst reference is returned from a play camera anim node. In this case, our first camera anim is being stored as the camera anim ref. That's what I'm naming it. Remember, it's just a camera anim inst. My second one here is not being saved. That's why we don't stop that one. So you would choose one, for example, my camera anim ref right here. I would plug it in. And then immediate is basically if it does blending or no blending when it stops it. So let's run through this example. We saw earlier when I played it, we're rotating. Let's let's give it a bit more rotational value. And there we go. Now the rotation is a lot more robust. Actually, you know, we need more than that. I want to see because I need to show the immediate. There we go. Now we have a lot more animation rotation. When I hit stop, it's going to immediately stop back and snap to the stopping point for the rotation. If you check the immediate option, actually it is set to meet. There we go. Now it's going to snap back. It's kind of hard with this rotation. Let's see if we can make it there. Let's, let's turn the rate down and the scale up. Let me get this a little bit. Let's try that. There we go. Now we've got a much slower rotation and a much bigger one. And when I hit stop, let's get it. It's going to immediately stop and snap back to the middle. Let's do this again, like that. If we uncheck immediate, which is the default value, and we hit play, it's going to go ahead and snap back, but that's because I have things set to not blend. If you look right here, we have blend in time and blend out time. There's no blend out time, which means when we play it, there we go. I we'll hit play. And you'll notice when I hit stop this time, it's going to slowly move back to the middle over one second because I have a blend out time of one second. So that is something to keep in mind if your immediate is not working by default. It uses the blend in and blend out times that are set up on your play. I had no blend out time because that is the default. The default is to snap to follow the timeline exactly. Now that I have a blend out time of one, Whenever we stop it, and if we don't have immediate check, it's going to go ahead and blend out appropriately. And that's it. That is our stop camera inst stop camera anim inst node. The intention is to get the player camera manager that you want a specific animation instance, in this case one from my play node, and then stop it. It's only going to stop that one.